excited to be here in Tokyo, Japan. This is my first experience to, you know, have uh, to give a presentation in such a conference. To the conference, and uh, sorry about my voice. First, uh, I have a cold, and I'm also having still uh, jet lag. So, uh, okay, first I, I thought that I couldn't make it, and then, then I changed my mind. Uh, Finally, I'm here to see you. Actually, my presentation is about factors causing language anxiety for EFL learners in speaking a target language. Okay, so uh, first I just want to start uh, with a little bit explaining of my presentation outline. The first one is inspiration. I will talk about the inspiration, how I got inspired by the problem, I mean, which is foreign language anxiety. And then I will state the problem. And then uh, I will talk about how I designed my research. And uh, after that, I'm going to move on to data analysis. I just want to give some explanation of how I figured, figured out my I mean, uh, research. And finally, I think the, the last one, but the, I think the most impart, important one is that recommendation for uh, you know, uh, decreasing foreign language insights for both EFL learners and EFL teachers also. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, basically, let's start with the inspiration. Um, I think uh, in my first slide, I forgot to say that I didn't have a chance to, to do my master's degree in London. Uh, I stayed there for about two years, two and a half years. <laughs> yeah, start with the pronunciation Lantern. Yeah, <laughs> it was such a big experience for me, actually, guys. But uh, you know, um, you know why I got, how I got inspired for this foreign language anxiety while I was, you know, walking uh, to my residence during my long journeys. I really, uh, I was really amazed by non-native fluent, non uh, fluent non-native speakers. And I was really amazed by uh, non-native speakers who spoke in a very comfortable way, without any negative feelings. And I thought that, okay, uh, this, culture to, this culture to speak just reminded me uh, some of the statements of my students from my background, like, oh, make up, I can't feel myself, I can't express myself in a foreign language while communicating, I cannot express myself very well, I feel so panicked, anxious, you know, I feel that everybody is listening to me to judge me and to find my mistakes. And I was so, you know, obsessed with those uh, sayings of my students that I felt that, okay, okay, in London, I, you know, I had uh, come, I came across lots of students saying this, uh, statements coming from de de different nationalities and different cultures. Also, when I was in Turkey, I had uh, also lots of Turkish students saying this, complaining about this foreign language anxiety. And then, as a result of this, I just I decided to do my research um, about this foreign language anxiety. Of course, it was really hard for me, but you know, again, the student says I feel nervous when speaking English. I should not make mistakes in front of the people. Now let's move on to the statement of the problem. I mean, where those sayings, where do they lead us? I mean, what makes uh, students feel like that? So basically, we can say that, uh, you know, because my research is about language anxiety, foreign language anxiety, uh, although much has been written on it, the foreign language anxiety basically are considered in two different aspects the theoretical aspect and practical aspect. In theoretical aspect, speaking in a target language seems to be the most threatening aspect of a foreign language learning. But when it goes to practical aspect, like if our learners feel panic, anxious, although they have a very good you know, target language, they have a very good level of English, for example, and they feel so uncomfortable when it comes to speaking in a target language. So, they both lead to foreign language anxiety. But what is the foreign language anxiety in real? I mean, in academic resources. Uh, it's the feeling of unease, weary, nervousness, and apprehension experienced when learning or using a second or foreign language. It's also a distinct complex of self-perceptions, beliefs, feelings, behaviors related to classroom learning arising from the uniqueness of the language learning process. And a good example of foreign language anxiety is in, specifically in my research is about oral presentation. Okay, so 
Okay. So let me tell you the research questions of my study. Actually, uh, this study was uh, my dissertation. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I prepared this slide, uh, this presentation research. My research questions were basically about three questions, like what are psycholinguistic factors that cause language speaking anxiety, and then what are social cultural factors? Uh, what, and then finally, uh, what strategies can be used to cope with the language anxiety? Okay, let me tell you uh, how I did this, my research. Uh, in my research, uh, you know, uh, I was working in a foreign language course in London, and I had really, you know, different students coming from different cultures and different nationalities, like from Senegal, like Asian students, African, you know, and um, participants were three EFL teachers, also in London and Rai's context. Ten EFL learners coming from different nationalities, as I said before, and cultures. And my method is, I did my uh, method by in-depth interviews and focus groups. I choose some of the questions, like basically those one, I mean the three of them. <coughs> Sorry. And then I asked them, in that into those questions in that interviews and focus groups, I recorded what they said, and then after that, I used, I mean, qualitative method. It was uh, a qualitative method. It's like a semi structured, semi structured <coughs> interview. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I have water, by the way? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just thinking if I have a throat loss. <laughs> I have some. Let, let me try and get some. Okay, <laughs> Sorry about that. 